Hello, Alia. Thanks very much again. Thanks everyone to come. We have another session now for Sportworks Fit with Alia. Thanks for training. These are going to be available again on YouTube. So I cannot do it now, but I did your last session after. So it was great. So this one is going to be good. So uh, let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, I can't see how many people are on the webinar. Uh, so if you guys want to send a little message in the chat to say you're here, just curious where everyone is, uh, if you're in Lausanne or somewhere else. And I'm going to take a few minutes quickly to do an introduction. So those of you who were here last week and did the workout are familiar with it. We have alternating sets between legs and arms. You don't need anything other than two cans of beans, tomato sauce, uh, whatever you'd like. This is going to be our equipment for today. Hello. And uh, we don't even need shoes today. So you can take your shoes off. You can be barefoot to do this exercise. Um, we actually need to do a few body weight exercises that are better done without shoes, so it's going to be a little easier. So the way it works is I'm going to take you through the first set with instructions a little bit slower, giving you versions to make it either more challenging or a little bit easier, and it's up to you. Um, you can adjust the exercise. We do a lot of body weight, so some of them are balance exercises that will take some time to get used to. So don't rush to complete the set if you feel like you're not too familiar with the activity. Uh, make sure you are comfortable first, and then you can really pick up the pace and do the counts. So uh, we're gonna get started. I have no music today, so we just wanna be able to put it on YouTube afterwards. And uh, just the technicalities of it are that we need copyright for music. So if you wanna put some more music in the background at your own place or grab headphones, please feel free. Uh, that way you have some music in the back. Um, and then I'm going to be speaking to you throughout the exercises as well. So if you need to turn down the music, you can listen a bit more to my instructions and vice versa. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. Not a good connection. Let me know, guys, if you can hear me or if it's just uh, Margarita who's having a bit of trouble. Can you hear me? Can you see me well? I'm just going to give it one second. So once again, grab your cans. Make sure you have some kind of a mat. I have a yoga mat or... If you don't have a yoga mat, you can be on a carpet and make sure you have some water. Okay, let's just see if everyone can hear me and see me. Just give me a quick note. Yes, all good. Okay, great. Oh, I'm just one now. Sportworks is gone. Okay, let's do this. So three sets. The first one, we go a little bit slower. The second set and the third set. We go full speed, but once again, at your own pace, if you need to go a little slower, please take that time. Uh, each set, if not interrupted, takes about 11 to 12 minutes. So in a good 35 minutes, you can have a really nice workout. Uh, so there you go. We're all set to go. Hello, everyone. Um, don't need shoes once again. You can go barefoot to do these exercises. We're going to start with a warm up. So keep these on the side. So we go nice and easy for the warm-up first. We have our feet a little wider than our shoulder width and we just go for squats deep down. We're gonna go for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, putting the feet wider apart, just a bit more toes pointing out slightly. We're gonna go to one side, a few bounces here. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, one, two, three, four, five again. Without the arms, put them in the front. Other side, three, four, five. Down in the middle, very dynamic. Balancing up and down, be careful with your back. You should feel your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes here. One side, other side. Good. Okay, we're gonna speed up the squats. You can do a narrow, narrower position, shoulder width, and one, two, three, 
four, five, starting to pick up that heart rate, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to have a lot of hip flexion work today, so just a few rotations in and out, in and out, in, out, and switch. As wide as you can, you can start with smaller circles and make them larger. Good. And upper body, we're going to put our hands up and rotate. Change direction. Again. And change direction. Good. A quick stretch to the side. Waking up if it's early, waking up if it's lunchtime, forward. All right, here we go. This is our warm up. So hopefully your heart rate is picking up just a bit. Good. All right. All good here. Everyone can hear me. Just checking the chat, quest, chat quickly. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to take you exercise by exercise. Take your time. If you have questions, type them in. I know it's not as easy to answer questions about exercise through chat, but uh, please feel free. I will do my best and we get started. Okay. Exercise number one, we always need our cams, your barefoot. So what you're going to do is place them at the end of your mat if you have one and you step away and you find the right distance. So for me, it's about halfway through the mat. We take a squat position, nice and low, the lower the better. And we're going to reach and touch it with the toe, like so. And find that can. There it is. And we're going to put it to the other side. So just make sure you have the right distance for now. It's going to feel a bit wobbly. As soon as you do, sit nice and low, and we're going for 20. Okay? So make sure that you shift the weight to one leg as you're reaching back with the other. One. Stay low. Two. Three, slight tap, control, all about control. Four, five, doesn't matter what you do with the arms, they're there to help you keep balance. Six, seven, try not to look once you start to know the distance. Eight, nine, ten. We have ten more, so you're still probably adjusting and trying to find that distance. Good. I'm at 13, 14, 15, there it is, 16, all right, three more, keep that squat nice and low, it's going to burn just a little bit, and that's one, it doesn't need to be perfect, you won't always touch the can, but it's your reference point, you need a lot more leg control to do this exercise. Right away to the next one. Grab your cans. And if you need, you can always put them a little closer and then bring them out as you get more comfortable. Arms in the front. We're going to do cross back lunges. So you cross back and down. You want to tap with the knee, touch the floor. Other side. Like so. You want to contract the arms at the same time. You keep them parallel to the ground. And we go 20, ooh, 20 times. One, two, three, four. Take your time to go a little slower if you need to. You can see there's a little bit of balance. Six, seven, eight. Take those wide steps. Nine, arms in the front. Ten. 11, 12, 13, light tap with the knee and up, 15, 16, 17, let's finish it off, and two more, and two, you should feel that heart rate up now, last leg exercise, we're going to go down, this one is a bit tricky, but it's really good for the hip flexors. Can stay like this in horizontal position. What we want to do is in the squat, 
Step away from the cans just a little bit. In a squat, you go down, tap. This is your extra movement. And back up. Ten times. One. Two. If you need some balance, you can hold on with the arms until you get used to it. Put them down on the floor. And four. And five. And six. Slight tap, all about control. Seven. Eight. Use your core, control. Nine. Good, last one. Ten. Good, shake out those legs. So you should feel a burn, especially in the quads. We just added a little extra twist forward using your core and your hip flexors. It just adds a little challenge to our normal squats. The cans are your reference point. So ideally you just want to tap them with the knee and get back up. If you want an extra challenge in this one, you don't need to get it all the way up. So you can do the exercise, get up and right back down. So that keeps your legs contracted the whole time. Okay, so that's our first set of legs. We move on. Have a sip of water if you need it. This one is a bit tricky. We're going to start with a downward dog and we attempt to push up. If you're not comfortable with a downward dog, you can do a regular push up. No worries at all. Okay, let's try. Keep the cans here, horizontal, and we find our downward dog. Good. We do a push up and then touch the cans with the knees. Back up. Push up and touch. Back up. Push up. Take your time and touch. Back up. Push up and touch. Push up. Let's do five more. Touch as low as you can go. And four for me. And three. And two, and one. So push-ups are my weakest exercise, the one I hate the most. So this is a challenge for me. You cannot go as low as you would in the regular push-ups. Obviously a lot of pressure on your shoulders, a lot of shoulder work. We're shifting which muscles are working, but it's a nice challenge. So. You can take your time. We do a little extra tap with the knees at the bottom of the downward dog just to contract our core. But you can skip that movement if you just want to focus on the push ups and get those right. But hopefully, you enjoyed it. Moving on to the next one. We flip them over. Once again, if you're using cans that have little openers, put that on the bottom. We're going to put the weight of our hands on the top of these. Like so. This is our mobility exercise. The further your feet are, the easier it is. So you want to bring them in. And we're going to extend the legs. And go to a reverse plank. Extend. And reverse plank. Extend. The reverse plank. Let's do this ten times. And up. And I'm at three. I started from zero here after the explanation. Four. Five. Six. As high as you can go. Seven. Try to bring it flat. This is your ideal position. Eight. Nine. Ten. This one works all your body parts. It's a challenging one. So it might not feel very comfortable in the beginning. But if you're able to go in with the straight legs, lock them, and then go back into your reverse plank as flat as you can get, then you're doing it right. You can always put your feet a little bit further out 
if you're not too flexible, that's totally fine. It's just gonna help you adjust and be able to do the exercise. We're gonna keep the cans as they are and maybe move them up just a little bit. The idea of this exercise, if we go in a regular plank, on the straight arms, like so. I'm gonna put them back here. And what we're gonna do is rotate the toe around the can, like so. And two. We're starting clockwise. And three. Four. And five. Then we switch to the other side, five more. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Now, the idea is in the plank, your toe is circling the can as close as possible to the ground. So you're really working the lateral muscles here. Now we're gonna change direction and go counterclockwise. Five more on each side. So let's go counterclockwise. One, keep the hips low, two, Three, four, five, other side. One, two, take your time, the slower the better. Three, four, five. Now you should feel that core burning quite a bit here. You can see the higher up you bring the cans, the bigger your rotation has to be. So if you want to just start easy, bring the cans closer to your feet, then the circles are small and the hip flexion is a little bit lighter. And then if you want an extra challenge, really bring them as close as possible to your hips. And then the rotation with your leg is a large circle. Okay, so hopefully you felt that burn. I'm sweating a bit. My heart rate is already up, so I'm working. We're getting to the next one. We're gonna stand back up, grab those cans, shoulder width with the feet, so about like this. And a very easy exercise here. We're gonna tap in the front, tap in the back, and we go 10 times. One, two, three, four, You can move your body slightly as you adjust. Six. So you can see I'm shifting my body weight. Okay, lost count, let's make it two more. Good. So you should feel the shoulders working and your legs at the same time. And the next one. All we're gonna do is lay down and stand up. It sounds easy, but it's actually quite challenging. So if you're new, make sure you use your hands for support as you're getting up. If you're new to this exercise, I need it sometimes to get used to it as well. If you feel comfortable, you need to use a little bit of that body motion, a little bit of inertia to get yourself up. So you'll see what I mean. We're starting like so. Knees bent, arms overhead, and we use a little bit of inertia to get up. One. If you need that help, leave the cans and give yourself a little push. Okay, when you lie down, this movement to go back down, use your core to lie down a little bit slower to make sure that you're not plopping yourself back. The more control, the better. So let's try it 10 times. Bring your feet, the closer they are to your um, legs, to your glutes, the easier it is. So let's try one. And push two. Three. Four. Hands overhead. If you're comfortable, cans go overhead. Five. Use a little bit of that upper body force to propel yourself up. Six. Seven. Use your core. Eight. Nine. 
Last one. And ten. Good. So this is a tricky one. This exercise gives you a little bit of a challenge here. The slower you go, the harder it becomes. So if you need to use a little bit of the upper body force to propel yourself up, go for it. If you need to put your hands down, leave the cans all together, go for it. If you're comfortable, try to do it as slow as possible. And uh, it's always a challenge, no matter what fitness level you are. Okay, now the cans, I'm gonna go this way so you can see me, but you can use the length of your yoga mat. The cans go out nice and wide. We're gonna go into a plank in our elbows. Okay, like so. And what we wanna do is touch the cans with our toe. We're gonna do five on each side, two times, like so. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, one, two. It's gonna take you some time to find where that count is. And if you need to adjust the distance, keep the hips low, butt stays low. And other side, one, two, three, four, five, and again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we finish on the mat. A little bit of core and a lot of plank today. We start by dropping the legs. So you're gonna make a T-shape, arms go out. Have space and arms are off the floor so they're floating extended and we drop put your leg uh, put your head down and go leg drops one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, and now the arms keep the legs up and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last one. One can, that's all you need. Elbows, side plank, stack your feet one on top of the other, lift it up, all right, can overhead, and you're gonna reach as far back as you can, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, let's finish it off. This is the last one. Stack the feet, nice and strong. Lift yourself up, find the balance. Your shoulder weight is directly above your elbow. And we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Finish it off. All right. So, with explanations, that took us about 17 minutes. If we go back to back, we can do this in about 12. 12 to 13 minutes. If you really push, you go for 11, but that really doesn't matter. So the time that you need to take, you take. How are you guys feeling with the first set? Are you comfortable with the exercises? Is everyone alive? <laughs> We're gonna take a little break. At this point, if you want to get some music on, uh, for yourself, to give yourself some motivation and some rhythm and some energy, feel free to turn on the music. 
and keep me in the background just to follow the sets of exercises. Okay, Leticia is good. I hope everyone else is doing well. I hope you've uh, gotten your heart rate up and you're sweating and working hard. Once again, please be careful. Good. Please be careful. If you're not comfortable, find an adjustment. If you need a little bit more advice on the adjustment, send a note. I'll do my best to give you a different version of the exercise. And um, it might take some time to find the right positions for the cans, when you, especially when you're reaching with those backward lunges or the side, the glued exercise where we have to put our feet to the side. So it takes a bit of getting used to. So even drafting the program, it took me some time. But we've taken our break now. We're ready to go. <laughs> awesome. Body weight exercise is the best for any fitness level, so I love doing these. We're going to get straight into the second set. Remember, the first three are legs. We do 20, 20, and 10. This is our leg set. We're going to go get that music on going, get some energy up, and we're going to start. Bring it back. Find your position. Find your distance. 20 times. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, there it is, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, ooh, balance, 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 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 for me, stay low, stay low, it's gonna burn, it's last two for me, and one thing I forgot to mention, do not change the distance. It should be equal from both legs, even if you have one that has more flexibility than the other. In the front. And we cross back for 20. One, two, three, four, five. Slight tap with the knee and get back up. Seven. Eight, nine, full extension with the arms. Keep that tension. Ten more. One, two, three, four, back straight. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Last one. Shoulders relaxed. It's easy to get tensed up, try to bring them down. 10, <clears throat> 10 squats. Let's do this. Down, tap, and up. Down, tap, and up. Down, tap, and up. Three. Four. Five, all about control. Use your hands, put them down if you need to. If you need a little extra support, bring it down, back up. We got four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Right away, keeping the cans down here. Find that downward dog. Find that position. I'm gonna tuck in my shirt. And we go for push ups. Bring these down a little bit lower, close to your knees. Let's go. Downward dog, push up, touch, push up, touch, push up, touch. These are your shoulders working here, a lot of shoulders. Five. And six. And seven. Take your time if you need to. Slow down the push ups. All right, two more. 
Last one. Good. Those are your downward dog push-ups. All about the shoulders. We put a lot of weight in the shoulders here. Flip them over. One and two. All of that hip flexion mobility. We bring it up now. Find the distance that works for you, for your feet. Up. We're going to go back and reverse plank. Back, reverse plank for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget to breathe. Nine and ten. Good. Okay, those lateral toe touches. Oh no, hold on. Toes around can. So bring them up a little higher. Find the distance. Go into that straight arm plank. And we're gonna circle the cans. So we have 20 total. Five, 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 five. Don't forget to change direction. Clockwise and then counterclockwise. Okay? Let's go. Clockwise. One. We'll have counter. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Change direction. One. Two, three, four, five, last one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Good. The core is working. We're halfway through the set. I just want to see how you guys are doing. Good, let's keep going. Grab them into that side, normal shoulder length, shoulder width squat, and we're going to tap 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, shake them out, lay down and stand up. Cans overhead if you're comfortable. And we go, one, slow down and quick up, slow down, three, slow down, four, Exhale as you go up. Inhale. And out. Six. Keep them overhead. Seven. Eight. All right, guys. Three, two more. Push up. Last one. Up. Yeah. Everything is working, especially our core today. Got a lot of core. Your cans, if you have a yoga mat, are wider than your mat. About the distance to your toes. This is our plank. Then we touch. One, two, three, four. Five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do it one more time. I don't remember how many did we did in the first round. Let's do five more on each side. Oh, I got a friend. 
One, it's okay. Two, this is my daughter. Three, <laughs> four, and five. I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four. She's pushing me down. Bye. Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Anyone who's got a kid at home will understand the reality of working out and training at home. So you saw my daughter there. We're going to keep going. Leg drops. Let's make that T. There's the arms, they go down to the sides. And we drop. And don't forget on the last one, keep those legs up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine. And ten and the arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beauty. Let's finish it off. Stack those feet. Let's go strong for the last exercise. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the burn. Yes. Let's switch and finish off. Then we have a little break. Nice and stable. And we go. One, two, three. Reach as far back as you can. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're 30 minutes in. How's everyone doing? <laughs> she's hiding the cans. She knows she's up to no good, my daughter. She knows she's in trouble. You guys are doing good? Can you hear me from the back when I'm talking during the exercises? And can you see me well? Just want to get a quick confirmation to make sure everyone's doing good. We're going to take about a minute. If you need to do a few stretches, as we're taking this break, shake out your legs. A lot of plank today, a lot of weight on the upper body, but still working the legs. Good. Okay, awesome. We're gonna go into our third round. We're gonna wrap up very quickly with this one because I see it's already 1240, so we gotta move a little quicker. So I'm gonna get back on the mat and get through the exercises one after another, and then we wrap up. Okay, once again, you can do less repetitions and go a little slower. Um, so don't feel like you need to rush through to get to your 20 or to get to your 10. Reduce the number, reduce the count, go at your own pace. Okay, let's do this. Going for 20. Find that distance. Let's go. One. Where is it? There it is. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. If you're still up for it, we can do ten more. Keep that squat low. Relax the upper body. I'm at 15. 
Go in for that 20. All right. And 20. Take them up. We're going to cross back. And go. One. Two. Three. Shoulders relaxed. Arms contract. It seems a bit counterintuitive, but it should work to keep the shoulders down and relaxed. And just to keep that full extension in the arm. All right. Tap and back up with 20. I'm at 10, I think. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. Heart rate is up. Yeah. Two more. Okay. Bring them down. And squat and rotate. One. Two. And three. And four. Here I feel the burn now. Still got six more. Ah, yeah, good stuff. Five more. Take your time if you need to. You can slow it down. All right, I'm at two last reps. Nine and ten. Good. Downward dog push up. We're going to bring the hands. You can skip the last little movement and just stay in downward dog if you want to. Up to you. And let's go. Up, downward dog. Push up. Tap. Push up. Tap. Push up. Tap. I'm at four. Five. Six. And seven. And eight. Nine. Last one for me. Ten. Good. Okay. Mobility. Let's bring them to the sides. Find your comfortable spot. And we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Nine. Get to high as flat of a plank as you can. And we finish off. All right. Let's go around the, uh, around the can. Rotations. Five, five. Five, five. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I feel it now. And let's finish. One, two, Three, four, finish strong, good, second half, we're almost there, getting back up, squat, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good. Lay down and stand up. We got this. Ten times. And exhale up. One. Two. Whoa. There you go. I'm losing it. Two. Three. Four. Starting to feel the abs a lot more here. Five. And exhale. Into six. Seven. You're going to start to feel it a bit more. Last one. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. Yes. Oh, that was a hard one, guys. Okay. Put them out to the side. In plank on the elbows. And we touch. One. Go for five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two. Keep the hips low. Three, four, five. Switch again. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three. Four, five. All right. I am sweating here on my terrace. We're into the final stretch. All we have is our core. Start with the base, leg drops. Keep the arms to the side, make a T. And we go. 10 times. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Now we go back to work. Just a few minutes late. We're going to finish strong overhead. Bring it back for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get that other oblique burning onto the other side. And we're done. This is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. This is it. Don't forget to stretch now. If you have a few minutes to spare, stay on your mat, do a few stretches. We've completed three sets. It took us 43 minutes, start to finish. If you have any suggestions or if you like any particular exercises, let SportWorks know. Anything um, from feedback to the workout itself or to the timing of the workout, maybe somebody wants to do an evening one, 
so that it's morning for the Americas, if anyone's joining from Canada or the US, dead. <laughs> so please, please do send us this feedback. We're all working from home for the next little while, so we might as well make the most out of it. As you can see here, we're just using cans. So I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if Tatiana is on the line. I know she was a, a little bit busy with the little ones. You can see us have our kids running around. Hello, I'm here. Are. We are busy. I'm saving that on YouTube as well for the to see, do it after. Yeah. Thanks, Olya, a lot. You're welcome. Thanks, that was a good one.